When they released Moblin V2, I guess it was the um, beginning of May, it was all over the place. And I think uh, Intel really set a new benchmark um, for having a kind of standard for Linux uh, distributions on networks. Um, in my opinion, the biggest disadvantage, other people might say it was the biggest advantage of Linux, the biggest, biggest advantage was all the time that we never had so many standards. We never had a central control uh, uh, over, over a Linux distribution, while those guys in Redmond have their 10,000 developers, you know, and they have one uh, elite developer saying, okay, all you guys, for all Windows developers, you're running into this direction, you're developing into this direction. While the Linux community, you know, was a little bit chaotic. Um, during the Network World Summit in December uh, last year in Paris, uh, I met another little visioneer uh, of this scene, and that's this little guy over here. That's Terry Krim. Johnny Cloud is a, it's a Linux distribution that's meant to be, or meant to get your network into the cloud. It's all about cloud computing, it's all about connectivity, and what I'm going to show you over here are some impressions of um, an early alpha release. The idea behind Jolly Cloud is not only having this total connectivity, outsourcing applications into the internet, into the cloud, taking advantage of resources, services that are available in the cloud, but also having the cloud as a backup to synchronize all your data, all your uh, working environment. Um, I don't call Jolly Cloud only an operating system. For me, it's a social operating system. Um, Terry Krim and his crew, they're having a huge background and uh, a record of social networking, social medias. And what is happening? People around us are recommending us software, are recommending us applications. And this is one of the main features of Johnny Cloud. I also, or my speech is also about the opportunities in the cloud. You know, with Linux we always have one huge problem. How can we monetize our Linux projects? So, in the last two decades, there have been two options. Whether you're an ODM and your Linux distribution is getting branded by any kind of big global player, or you're just sending support packages. That's it. So how can we finally make money with Linux in the cloud? And I think that, the, that cloud computing in general offers us a lot of opportunities. So think about having services in the cloud um, for specific user groups. For example, why shouldn't we have, um, for example, uh, a, a, subs a subscription feed for geography students? students? As a student, you have to buy so many books and you have to pay so much money during your studies and, uh, to get your content, why not bringing them together with publishing networks that are delivering them the right content? So this would be definitely something um, where we can see an opportunity of monetizing cloud computing, monetizing a Linux system in a different way, by services in the cloud, by content, but of course also by application. And one of the biggest success stories in services on the internet is uh, Flickr. Flickr is just a simple photo service. And you can get a professional account for some $25 a year. And guess how many millions of users they have. So um, these guys are really taking care of your, of your data, uh, of your photos. And they're having a great, great, great uh, business plan that is already working for some two years. And this is, of course, also cloud computing because we're using resources in the, in the cloud, we're using web space in the cloud, and it's working out. So in my opinion, it's all about getting services like this online, uh, embracing developers to write applications for the cloud, to fill up app stores like this. It's fantastic to have the chance to be in an environment that so many people are aware of, so many people going to every day where you can finally monetize your project, where you can finally make money even as a single Linux developer. And the most impressive one that I know from Obama is this one. In a world with infinity opportunities, it is irresponsible 
to be pessimistic. And um, I just hope that I have a lot of responsible people right now over here in this room because I think we're living in this world of opportunities and Linux and cloud computing can offer us these opportunities.